When Governor Larry Hogan was diagnosed with stage 3 non-Hodgkin's lymphoma in June, he turned to social media as an outlet to keep people updated on his prognosis. I thought by being transparent and open and then talking about my experiences that maybe it could help other families that were going through it, maybe it would help people go get checked out the way I did. After months of chemotherapy, Governor Hogan is now cancer free. And even though his fight against cancer is over, he says his new mission is just beginning. I know what families go through. I'm going to do everything I can to continue to raise awareness and to raise money. And eventually I want to you know, help somebody find a cure for this terrible disease that impacts so many people. Doctors are still searching for a cure, but since his diagnosis, the Hogan Strong movement has raised thousands of dollars for cancer research. While this journey hasn't been easy, Hogan says it was the support from other cancer patients, especially the children, that kept him going. These tough little fighters that have so much courage and strength and positive attitudes and they had big smiles on their face even though they didn't have hair on their heads and even though they were in pain and going through a tough time and uh, seeing what their families had to go through. Um, so they really, uh, I felt like I had nothing compared to the, you know, the battles that they were going through. And Like many cancer patients, Hogan lost his hair. This summer he made a big reveal of his new look on Facebook. Now that he's in remission, Governor Hogan turned to Facebook again, this time asking people if he should grow his hair back or keep the bald look. I told her the first lady's going to make the decision. I asked her and she said she doesn't care. Either way, it's good <laughs> with her. But I have about three days of growth. I don't know if your viewers can see it. I got a little fuzz coming. Uh, so I'm very excited. I think I'm going to grow the hair back. In Hagerstown, Kirsten Garris, WHAG News.